guys, it's Charlie, your writer from www.techinform.us. And by request, I'm here today with a video on how to change the icons of your dock or the icons of applications in Mac OS X. Now, what you're going to do first off, you're going to go down here to your internet browser. I'm going to be using Safari. And then you're going to go up here to your address bar and type in www.interface lift.com this is an app this is an icon website that I find very very useful when changing the app changing the icons of, of an application so when you're here at this website you're gonna go up here to icons and then it'll give you a very big list um, 136 pages of applications that you can download um so let's say I want to download this Apple TV one I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in on that zoom in on that and then here's a preview of the application. I mean, no, I keep saying application. I'm sorry. The um, icon that I'm going to be getting. Not not all of them, but just two of them that this pack includes. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down here and you're going to hit Mac OS X as your platform. And you're going to hit download. Now we're going to minimize this and let this download. And as soon as this is done, um, uh, now it'll mount the disk image. It'll pop up right here. Then it will just go away and it'll unzip itself so you'll find a new file um, down here in your downloads folder. So when that's finished downloading, just go ahead and check your downloads folder. And as you can see, I have a new icon, Apple TV icon. We're just going to go ahead and drag that to the desktop. Move it up to the corner. Okay, so we're, we can open this, and I'll change my view. And as you can see, um, here are some a preview of the icons that this pack does come with. Um, I'm just gonna probably change it to this Apple TV logo thing. Um, but first off. Um, before you actually change the icon, you're gonna go and you're gonna open up a new finder window. No, whoops. New finder window. And make that half. Then you're gonna go to your applications. Uh, okay. Now, now here's where you're just gonna change, or you're gonna select an application that you want to change. Um, I'm going to be changing Safari, an application that I use all the time. Um, as Again, before we change our application, um, I have found that the only way to get the icon back to the actual Safari icon is if you open up Text Edit. So you're going to open up Text Edit before you change your icon. You're going to hit Get Info on Safari. Then you're going to select this right here. You're going to go up to edit. You're going to hit copy. Go in here. You're going to copy it that. And then you're going to hit save. And save as Safari icon. And you're just going to save that to your desktop. Um, so after you've done that, you can go ahead and open up... Um, your what's it called the um, application no the icon oh, that you just downloaded so when you have an icon you you selected that you want to change you're just gonna go up here to edit and you're gonna hit copy and then you're gonna go over here to the Safari info you're gonna make sure Safari is selected um, meaning that um, this blue this the Safari icon has blue around it and you're going to go to edit, and then you're going to hit paste. Now, as you can see, it will change the Safari icon to the Apple logo that I just selected over here. So this will change the, um, whoops, this will change the icon of Safari in your applications folder. But now to actually get it, your app, get this on to your, um, dock, you're going to have to go to your dock and quit Safari. 
then you're gonna have to drag it off of your dock. Now once you have that off of your dock, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to your applications and you're going to find Safari. Now I know it doesn't um, say, well it doesn't show that there's an Apple symbol, but as you drag it onto your dock, it will. So as you can see, um, the Safari icon is an Apple symbol, which I find pretty cool. And it loads my page just fine, doesn't slow it down at all. And that's how you change an icon of any application. Now to change it back, you're gonna go up here to your um text edit document that you change yeah, you that sorry. You're gonna go up here to your um text edit document that you saved of the original icon. You're gonna click that. Now once this opens, you're gonna drag this image just over here to your desktop. Then you have this pasted graphic.tiff. You're going to double click that and open in preview. Then you're going to make this big. Then you're going to go down here to Insta Alpha. Now, if any of you used this before or you're familiar with it, you just kind of drag up, hold, click and drag up until the whole thing is red. So we're just going to click and drag up and select until the entire Safari icon is red. So it'll say it's all selected. Now we're going to hit command C or command copy. X out of that. Then we're going to drag this out of our dock. Now we're going to go to finder. And we're going to go to Safari. We're going to right click and hit get info. And now we're going to highlight the apple. We're going to go to edit and we're going to hit paste. So it'll change directly back to um, the original Safari icon and it will not be out of proportion at all it'll still be the same resolution as you can see Safari is still in proportion with all the other applications so that's how you change it back now if you go if you change a lot of your applications you're gonna have a lot of different um, pasted graphics so I can just go ahead and delete the actual document now. Now there's probably an easier way to change it back probably by finding it in your um, Macintosh HD but I find this method so easy and you can just create an I a folder that says icons and just drag as many of them, them, them in here as you want. So I hope this helped for the person who needed it and any others. Uh, make sure to check out our website at www.techinform.us. Um, my personal Twitter is www.twitter.com <coughs> slash abnercus, A-B-N-E-R-C-U-S. And the interface lift link will be in the description. Thanks for watching.